All right, guys, we're gonna talk about the 5K today and how to set up your training so that you can hopefully run the fastest 5K possible. I wanna give you five workouts that are absolutely critical to ensuring success in the 5K, and I wanna split this up between fundamental training sessions that you should really do before and during your 5K training cycle, and then also the actual more specific workouts that are gonna help you really hone your speed for 5,000 meters. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is make sure that we have our fundamentals covered. Now, the 5K is a pretty short event, it's very fast, and it requires a fair amount of speed. So, we always have to be working on our speed. We have to be maintaining it, we have to be making sure that we know how to run fast because it's a very coordinated skill. And like any skill, if you don't practice it for a long time, it will atrophy. So the number one thing that we should get started on early, way in the base phase of our training, before we really get into the competition phase of 5K training, are strides. Strides are about 100 meter accelerations. I think every runner should be doing strides at least twice a week because they are this fundamental. And all you do is simply accelerate to about 95, 98% of your max speed, hold that for about two seconds, and then you coast to a stop. You can do these barefoot, you can do these on a grass or synthetic turf field, wherever you have a good surface to do these. Now they should be 100 meters, about the straight section of a 400 meter outdoor track. And what strides do are really help reinforce good form, good mechanics, it really helps reinforce comfort at high speeds because this is gonna be really, really important in the 5K. You have to be comfortable running at a really high percentage of your maximum speed and strides help you do that. So if you're not already doing them, start adding about four strides to one or two runs per week. You can start building from there to two to three sessions of four to six strides. This is a great introduction to speed. You, if you're a beginner, if you're training for the Olympics, everyone can start doing strides regularly. Now, fundamental number two is the long run. Yes, even for the 5K, we are gonna do a long run, and we don't wanna do a relatively short long run, even for 5,000 meters. We wanna make sure that our long run distance gets up to, I would say, at least about 10 miles for your more beginner, uh, oriented runner, but if you're an intermediate runner, if you have some experience running marathons, you still wanna maintain a good long run well into the double digits. If you're running 18 miles for your long run, if you're training for a 5K, I think that's great. It's very instructive that even milers, world-class milers like Nick Willis from New Zealand, who's run a sub four minute mile now, I think three decades in a row, uh, he is running 18 mile long runs training for the mile. That's very instructive. That endurance is going to be really helpful in the 5,000 meter distance, as well as all the mental toughness that comes from running long runs. All right, we have established the foundation. Those are the fundamentals, the strides to maintain your speed and the long runs to maintain your endurance. Now let's talk about some workouts that are more specific to the 5K itself. Now, I really like this strategy of support paces. Yes, we wanna be running your goal 5K pace, but we also wanna be running paces that are both a little bit slower and a little bit faster than your goal 5K race pace. And so how this works out is generally tempo pace, goal 5K pace, and then mile or 3K race pace. These are three critical pace zones that should be present in your 5K training. So let's go through each example here and we'll talk about some workout options and also progressions because we can't start with, say for example, a 30 minute tempo run. We should start with an easier type of tempo workout. So let's start with that, the tempo workout, also known as a lactate threshold workout. This is the workout where you are running right on the cusp of going anaerobic that intensity where you are running without oxygen and all those exercise byproducts start accumulating like lactate and lactic acid, and then you ultimately have to slow down. The tempo run helps push that effort faster and faster before you start going anaerobic. And so I think it's very feasible for most runners to start with about 15 minutes of total 
uh, tempo pace running. So that could be a fart lick of three times five minutes. And then over the course of about two months, you can build that up to three times 10 minutes and even a full 30 minute tempo run. That's very doable and it will give you the, the mental and psychological skills to thrive at the 5K distance, but also, and probably more importantly, the stamina and endurance to hang tough when that 5K is gonna get difficult and it will get difficult. So that support pace was your slower support pace. Tempo pace is gonna be slower than your 5K race pace, and your other support pace is gonna be a little bit faster than your goal 5K race pace, and that's probably your mile or your 3K two mile race pace. And so for workouts like this, it's best to keep the total volume of running that you're gonna do at these paces to about two miles or less, depending upon your uh, competence, depending upon your uh, experience, and depending on how much time you have to train. So a good example here is six by 200 meters at mile race pace, or you could do something like six by 300 meters at your uh, 3K race pace. And what this does is really help work on your power, on your ability to generate more force, impart that into the ground, even better, uh, it helps with reinforcing good running form, proper running form and mechanics, because it's really difficult to run with sloppy running form when you're running fast. And so these shorter repetitions at a much faster pace reinforce good form. They're really great for uh, VO2 max work, and they also really help make your goal 5K race pace seem much easier. All right, that leaves only one more type of workout for the 5K, and that is work at your goal 5K race pace. And so we could really start structuring this in so many different ways, but let's keep this simple. Uh, I think it's helpful to start with maybe about two miles of 5K race pace work, and that could be as easy as four by 800 at goal 5K pace. And over time, you can build that workout so that it starts looking more like the 5K itself. So maybe we start with four by 800. That's two miles of, uh, of work at 5K pace. Two weeks later, we might evolve that workout to four times a thousand. Now we're running a little bit more uh, at your 5K race pace, 4,000 meters, but still not quite the race distance and split up enough that you're gonna get a fair amount of rest. Now this workout can continue evolving so that you're doing a workout that might look like three times a mile at goal 5K pace with maybe a scant 60 second recovery. That is a very difficult workout and you're gonna be struggling. Uh, you should only really attempt this workout if you have experience at those support paces that we talked about and you have gone through a season and built that long run, done those strides and really have become capable enough to do a very challenging workout like that. But if you can do these five types of workouts, the foundational work with the strides and the long run, the support paces of tempo and then mile and 3K pace that are both slower and faster than your 5K pace, and then finally your goal 5K race pace, you are gonna set yourself up to be much more successful at the 5K distance. Now let me pause here and just say that we don't have to think so one-dimensionally about our workouts. We can mix tempo workouts and mile paced repetitions. We can combine all these workouts. As long as the general trend over time is working closer and closer to race specificity, like that three times a mile workout that we talked about. As long as you're doing that, then you are progressing appropriately, your workouts will be periodized, and then you will be setting yourself up for success on race day as best as you can. Now I wanna hear from you. What are your favorite 5K workouts? When you're getting ready for the 5,000, what kind of workouts do you do to get yourself ready, to get prepared, and to know that you are in a position to run fast? Let me know in the comments underneath, and also don't miss our uh, racing strategy ebook that you can download for free. I'll have a link under this video. Once you get ready for the 5K, the next question is, well, how do I race the 5K? I think you'll find a lot of great ideas in the book, and if you end up using one of them, let me know. I'd love to see how it goes for you.